YouTube, what's up? It's Big Titty Day. Call me Mikey Double D. I'm here with the whole crew, man. Vibes are loud. Vibes are high. Caffeinated out of my brains. And we're starting with some incline because I want to keep some strength involved that allow me to transfer over my chest, chesticles with my other exercises. Building a chest, uh, one of the bigger differences in powerlifting or strength training and bodybuilding is like the fatigue management and, and daily performance. Daily performance in bodybuilding almost doesn't matter. All we got to do is get two, one reps from failure in all these exercises we're doing. So typically, you're going to handle one to two presses in a session and then maybe one or two isolations. So today, I make it my general push day. I got chest, shoulders, and triceps. I'll get one to two pushies in, maybe a lateral raise, and a tricep. So we start on that incline press. The other beauty about strength training or powerlifting in specific and bodybuilding is that you can choose any exercise. In bodybuilding, you simply choose what works that muscle best for you, depending on your joints, your leverages, that mind muscle connection, whatever actually feels good and that you can push hard in so you can choose. So for me, um, incline bench has always felt really good. So I do a very slight incline. I can push the load a little bit. I can really squeeze my chest. And now I'm going to go to a unilateral one. So I'll hop on either a dumbbell or a hammer strength, um, raise the reps a little bit, get to 8 to 10, and really go to failure. Maybe a fly. Uh, and it's that simple. Repeat, rinse and repeat two, three, four times a week, depending on the body part intensity you take it to. Cake, baby, cake. with building the chest, strength does matter, right? Because the more load we can use, the stronger you get, the more we can progressively overload, right? We want to add reps, sets, or weight weekly, monthly, yearly. So strength overall will be your friend. Those go more hand in hand than people think. Strength within a machine. The difference is when people talk about being strong or not, they're typically talking about the barbell. But we want to be strong here. So I'm working my chest, being strong here, progressively adding more stimulus that I can adapt to on my chest. So I do still try to push some weights. Um, exercise selection matters, like we mentioned, versus powerlifting. But the other thing is the rep scheme. Uh, you can build muscle in all rep schemes. Doing sets of 15 for purely powerlifting or strength purposes is a little bit of overkill in my opinion. I actually don't even like much stuff over seven or eight reps when we're talking about purely powerlifting. But in bodybuilding, there's different fibers react different ways and different intensities depending on the muscle, or excuse me, depending on the exercise. So I will tier my whole workout. First workouts, aim it, or first exercise aiming for sets of five. Now we're in the eight to 10. And then we'll do flies or a shoulder press or laterals or triceps and we'll kick it up to maybe 12, 15. Just because overloading a single joint on your tricep doing crazy heavy overhead uh, might just cause a little bit of pain long term. Again, there's no negative to it. It can still make progress. You could do top set of five tricep extensions, but the actual application of getting the dumbbell or getting the cable behind your head just gets more complicated, right?
it's it's not the exercise itself. It's just it's more pressing volume that is sustainable. And people are loading it well. Yeah, and people and people are just doing it heavy. And that was I, I remember when like belt squats were like all the rage a few years back. Same argument, right. right? Like honestly, if you just load a an exercise really well that has similar like muscular yeah. demands, hammer strength might be the next thing. Yeah, those feel great, and you can load them easy. Yeah. Like, uh, what, are you talking about like the squat press that they have, or is that any Cybex? Of, fucking any of it. I like the squat press they have, yeah. but even the chest press, yeah. right? If it feels good and you can continue to load it for a long period of time and not get beat up. Yeah. My, um, my, my friend uh, Kyle DeLeon, he's, uh, you, you might know him as a workout kid. Yeah. Um, he's one of the top, like, 180 ones right now, and he swears, like, machine chest press is yeah. his thing. Yeah. He's got a huge bench. Yeah, you work on your technique and everything on bench, and then you go over there and just literally crush yourself. Yeah, exactly. So you don't got to think. All right, speaking of crushing ourselves, you're, yeah, you're picking our next one. Let's, let's go do it. feels good. I've actually, my diet's been really locked in the last two days, um, and that feels good mentally and physically. My walks have been here and there, um, because my stress is so high with work and this meat and everyone blowing me up, but uh, in general, it just feels good to like, again, I'm not worried about the load on here. I'm just getting a pump. I, I know I worked hard enough today. I'm going to get a walk. I know I did my work off. I can like check it off the box easier, where the other times I'm powerlifting, I'm, I'm worried about what's next, or am I going to be recovered to lift this amount of weight, where I don't care, man. Tomorrow I'm going to catch bi back and bicep and feel great. I'm going to hit my macros today we're jamming so mentally it feels really good just to kind of move compartmentalize get the job done Just day done, man. A little push day, first push day on the hypertrophy. This week is a little crazy, so I can't quite give the intensity of my sleep, my stress. I had like nightmares all night, and I never dream. Um, but I think stress is just getting to me. So I like woke up at five o'clock for no reason, kind of floated in bed until I just couldn't anymore and start working on my phone. So everything's a little off, um, which is why we planned this rather than my powerlifting competition. You know, again, obviously I'm not hopping into a bodybuilding show. Again, your goals have to be as strict as uh, your plan has to be as strict as your goals. And so this stuff, you know, I'll make do. We'll come back. Come back stronger than ever. Um, appreciate you guys so much, man. 3SB.co, we got a bunch of hot shit on the website. This collab itself, a couple of teas of our own, some leftover sweats that will never come back again. We do all small batch. Nothing's ever restocked. It's some really hot shit in the works. So stay tuned, 3SB.co. Join the Discord, link below. Turn on notifications, man. I noticed only like a quarter of y'all got the notifications on. So you don't want to miss it on. Turn it on, sub. We over me. Be a part of something bigger, sub, man. Sound the mic, we're out.